So I'm not sure your degree of confidence at this hour of Kamala Harris's ability to win this election, but if she does so, to what extent do you think the Dobbs decision in the Supreme Court will have played a role in that? I think it's a major factor. I can just tell you, it uh, motivates not just women to vote for Kamala, but it, a lot of men are joining in the ranks. And I see it with younger voters, too. They look at the actual cases of these women facing miscarriages, trying to find competent physicians in states where there are criminal penalties being threatened, uh, and they understand that they don't want to be in that position. It doesn't sound like America to them, and it doesn't sound like it to me either. Well, how are you feeling about things going into this election day, Senator? You've had a couple of them in your career. Illinois is not a swing state. It's not going to be one of the states likely to decide the balance of power in Washington on Capitol Hill or the next president. So where are you looking? Well, I'll tell you what I'm looking for, and I've seen it this last weekend and before. We have literally hundreds, if not thousands, of Illinois volunteers who are going into Wisconsin to help Tammy Baldwin, into Michigan to help Alyssa Slotkin, uh, into uh, Pennsylvania to help Bob Casey, and the bottom line to make sure that Kamala is elected president. These are real volunteers who care and are making personal sacrifices to help. Uh, I don't know what's going on on the other side. There's no evidence of this similar in undertaking. And you can't buy this kind of support. Mm. It's like comparing mom's apple pie to something you bought at a store. It just isn't the same thing. These folks really care. And if we do well in the blue uh, range, the blue wall that they talk about here, I think it'll be because of this factor.